Hi everyone, my name is Eric and this is another video to help you achieve your rendering and movie making goals with Dragonfly. Today's topic, we will talk about using overlays in your images and movies. So we already have loaded our cheetah skull, so we will apply the bones new preset from the list of available presets. And we will open up the overlay panel. There are two kinds of overlays, text and images. So first, let's use a text overlay. Adding an overlay will display its property panel on the right side of the screen. In the text box, we will enter the text for the overlay. And then using the anchors, we can change the size and position on screen. The text will automatically adjust to fit the boundaries. To create the story, let's add another or a few other text overlays and place them on screen. Now, let's create an image overlay. We need to select the image file. There is a number of file formats supported. And just as we did for the text overlays, we use the anchors to change the size and position of the image overlay on screen. Using overlays in movies is simple. Just make sure they're all created before starting the Movie Maker tool. In this case, we will use the Opacity Console. It's a very efficient way to control the opacity of all the objects in your scene. We'll start by dropping the opacity of all the overlays to zero to hide them. And let's not forget to hit the Update button so we don't lose any modifications. I will then modify the camera position and make the first text overlay visible by restoring the opacity value and add a new keyframe to create a transition. I will then repeat the same thing for the uh, second and third overlay. Finally, for the image overlay, please note that the position of the overlay can also be stored in the keyframe, so you can animate their position on screen between two keyframes. We can drag the green marker on the timeline to preview the movie in real time to be sure everything is okay before we proceed to export the movie. 